Benvinguts a Vila Bertran. Catalan for welcome. Welcome to Vila Bertran. I'm researching the typically Catalan escudella, a meat and vegetable stew, which in the past would be eaten every single day. Crucial to the escudella is the broth or the soup served before the solids, to which little rice or pasta is added. The meat and vegetables are served afterwards, on a tray from which you help yourself. There are more elaborate versions, but today's version is suitable for any day of the year. I visit Figueras Market for advice and ingredients. A necessitar para fazer uma escudella. Me pode preparar. Pink-skinned onions of Figueras are well known throughout Spain. De aqui para escudella. Again, these helpful ladies confirm that books and online recipes are not the way to go when searching for gastronomic authenticity. A visit to the butcher for a mixture of meats and bones, salted and fresh, and time for a spin around Figueres itself. The surreal Dalinian Museum unfortunately closed due to ongoing health measures. The meats selected on my behalf are some fresh pork belly, a thick slice of stewing beef on the bone, in this case from the breast, but anything similar will do. A chicken leg. A couple of fresh pig bones from the spine. And here's a salted pork rib. And another salted bone. And here a fully cured ham bone that'll add tremendous depth of flavor to the escudella. Over here an onion, a potato, perhaps half a leek, a turnip, a large carrot, a branch of celery just for flavouring, and half a small cabbage. The chickpeas have soaked overnight. And not forgetting a drop of the local stuff that goes in the cook, not in the escudella. On no account be tempted to add herbs or garlic. According to the ladies at the market, these have no place in the escudella. So just cover all the bones and meat with water and bring to a gentle simmer. This local red is from Peralada, just down the road, where I'm told some people like to bathe in the stuff. Skim off any scum from the surface as it starts to simmer. And when the liquid is clean, add the chickpeas. This will give you a whole hour to check out the town's most important feature, the Monastery of Santa Maria. Dating from the 11th century, I keep thinking of all those monks and clerics of old eating their daily escudella in these halls. Anyway, after an hour, drop in most of the veg in nice sized chunks. Nothing pretty. And the celery, which is only used to flavor the broth. Another hour of gentle simmering. and the cabbage and potatoes are added, as these will cook quickly. Perhaps 20 minutes to half an hour will do. So now the solids are removed, and the broth strained to gather the chickpeas. Return the broth to the heat and pop in the pasta. All the solids are arranged on a tray and kept warm, ideally in a low oven. 
A drizzle of olive oil on top will add flavor and keep them shiny. A kindly passerby is more than happy to share my bottle of peralada. Along with all his knowledge of his cherished national dish. I'll leave it to the expert to pass judgment on my escudella catalana. A ver, a ver. A ver. Ha salido correcto. Buenísima. Corre buenísima. De las Buen. mejores que he probado. De las mejores. Muy buena. <laughs> Mira. Sigue, sigue. ¿Te gusta? Uh, mira. Todo. <risa> ah, sí, sí, muy bien. Uh, pollo. Bueno, ya está. Mira, yo. Do join me again as I continue to catalog all the greatest traditional classics from the Alta Amporda, Girona, Catalunya and beyond. Bon profit. <laughs>